Blood Agar Media. Blood Agar is an enriched media, which capable of growing a range of microorganisms of clinical significance. Fastidious organisms, such as Streptococci, do not grow well on ordinary growth media. But blood agar, is a type of growth medium that encourages, the growth of bacteria, such as Streptococci that otherwise wouldn't grow. Also blood contains inhibitors, for certain bacteria such as Neisseria and Haemophilus genera, and the blood agar must be heated, to inactivate these inhibitors and to release essential growth factors, such as X factor and V factor. But when heating of blood agar, converts it into chocolate agar and supports the growth of these bacteria. Blood agar can be made selective for certain pathogens, by the addition of antibiotics, chemicals, or dyes. Examples, includes crystal violet blood agar to select streptococcus pyogens, from throat swabs, and canamycin or neomycin blood agar, to select anaerobes from pus. Composition of blood agar Blood agar media consist of Pancreatic digest of casein Papaic digest of soy meal 0.5% sodium chloride Agar Distilled water and 5% sheep blood Combine of the ingredients and final pH should be 7.3 Uses of blood agar media There are three main uses of blood agar they are isolation organisms, identification and detect antimicrobial susceptibility. After spreading specimen on blood agar media, can be examine isolated pathogen organisms colonies on blood agar media. So blood agar really important to isolate medically significant organisms. Also blood agar media gives good colony appearance, hemolysis patterns such as alpha, beta, gamma and pigment production. Quality control of blood agar Using quality control of blood agar, we can identify whether, are media in good quality or not, if not we have to discard all media. There are several method to quality control blood agar. 1. The pH of the blood agar range should from 7.2 to 7.6 at room temperature. Two. Incubate the plates, in a carbon dioxide enriched atmosphere at 37 degrees Celsius overnight and check there any contamination present or not. 3. Check the growth of positive control organisms and see colony morphology. In this case these positive control organisms, must grow on blood agar media, and gives identical colony morphology, so. Staphylococcus aureus. should give good growth with white colored colonies. Streptococcus pyogenes should give good growth with pale colonies and beta hemolysis and streptococcus pneumonia should give good growth with gray colored colonies and alpha hemolysis. Hello viewers. Do you like to design this like video for you? Then contact me.